So, Sheffield Wednesday looking at bringing in another coach. Shock horror it from RB Leipzig. <laughs> cool of thinking. Hello and welcome to video. I hope you are all doing well. And during the game about half time today, uh, Ricky Charles was posted that Sheffield Wednesday are looking at bringing in another German coach. This coach is uh, Nico Kabul, I think that's how you say it. He formerly worked with uh, in the Red Bull setup at Leipzig, so likely knows of working with Danny Rull. Now, he has been out of work since uh, 2022. He was the manager, uh, I'm not even going to try and say the team name, Ellingberg, I think that's how you say it, FC Ellingberg. He was a manager from 2015 to 2022. Uh, but before that, he was an assistant manager at the Youth Academy, uh, a manager with the Youth Academy RB Leipzig, and then assistant manager RB Leipzig too. Uh, the 43-year-old German, it sounds like he is the next person he wants to bring in as one of his coaches. So it will be interesting to see what happens there because he does seem to be getting a lot of people in that he's had in a work with in the past at uh, the Red Bull organization, which makes sense. It makes a lot of sense in bringing in the people he's worked with before and he knows them. So it's easier for him to get here his thoughts across, get his things to people and try and get us going as fast as humanly possible because right, right now, we need it. Um, as as this has been recorded on the Saturday, it'll probably go up on the Saturday well. We're struggling for just any kind of positive. Like, Danny come in and you think that would good seem to but... He he's still building his backroom staff. He's still not got all the coaches in. He got Sasha in. He got Chris in, and he got Hendrick in. Uh, that's who we got in so far. And here's the thing: is that he said he wanted. I think he said he wanted three German, one British. He got the British one in. He got a German in already, and he got the assistant manager who Danish. So un unless that changed, uh, who he wants in. But Sheffield went there, still looking at building his backroom staff. Now, we go to Plymouth on Wednesday night and then we have Rotherham at home. And oh, the Watford game, I think we were unlucky. Uh, we made some good chances, but it shows that he's still trying to get his stuff. It's his first game. And I think a lot of people are going to not criticise. I think they're going to give him the benefit of the doubt because at the end of the day, we know that this wasn't Danny's fault. Uh with how he's having to deal with the player they got. Let's face it, I think our recruitment in the summer is what grew us. Very good League One players, not that much in the championship kind of level. So we'll see. But Nico um, Kedabal, if you can help me pronounce that, please do. Looks like he's coming in to be another one of his members of staff. He's 43. And yeah, we'll see what happens. It sounds like we're looking to get a deal done rather soon and hopefully sooner so we can get more people in that can help in try and sort the mess that Shepard went through. 